state is our priority because it's the state's priority. We are distributing these shots to individuals in phase 1A and 1B very quickly, and we've been successful at doing that very fast. Ticket, ID, you're all set, straight ahead. These shots are not sitting on a shelf. They're being delivered to the people as quick as possible. We just don't have enough vaccines right now for the demand. My name's Danny. We're going to get you taken care of with your vaccine today, OK? Drive-up appointments are just one of the ways that we're using to meet the need. We've also worked directly with our senior living communities and long-term care facilities to make sure that we've vaccinated all of them. And we've vaccinated quite a few. And, and that's very important because it is that population that frequently requires hospitalizations. We also know that there are people that do, do not have access to the internet. And so we have strategies to meet that need also. The one limiting factor right now is just we don't have a, enough vaccines to do all of that. Once we have those vaccines, then we'll be putting programs in place to make sure that we're able to vaccinate everyone who wants to have a vaccine. Good morning. Hi, here's a packet with vaccine information to read and fill out after you receive the shot. You'll be waiting about 15 minutes afterwards. Well, this is a regional effort that's much bigger than us. The Collin County Healthcare Services, other fire departments, hospitals, doctor's offices, pharmacies, they're all working to deliver vaccines to those who want it. It may feel a bit disjointed at times, but everyone is using the tools they have to deliver these vaccines as quick as possible to those who want them.